Hey guys, what is up? Aoki here bringing you the Season 2023 Cinematic. These things are always like one of the most explosive, exciting things uh, to start the season with. There's there's always like a, a hype new song, amazing visuals, really awesome storytelling, and just I cannot wait to get into it. Let's watch it together, guys. This is it. These, this is what marks the, the beginning of the season. Once again, okay. I stand at the brink of infinity. Okay. Oh, baby. Uh, what uh, lies the beyond violins are smelling. Path. Death? No. Nothing that simple. Okay, it's actually the best part based of me on Summoner's on Rift. And the scars I leave behind. Why does it look so like messed up? I do not fear the darkness. Okay. I will brave the shadows. We're halfway over. Is it gonna start? Trusting nothing. There's a Blasco and that looks cool. Saw the little I have jungle found pet. My limit a thousand times, and still I press further. Oh my God! Is, is it gonna start? When? When does the exciting stuff happen? Every mistake, a lesson. Aatrox a sword. Okay. Now I will teach them to fear me. Where's where's all the champions? I what I must be. Why? Because oh my god. No. Uh-uh. No shot. There is is th this is this the cinema is this the cinematic? Is this the teaser for it? This is not the whole cinematic. No. Uh-uh. Hold on. <laughs> no shot. Oh my god. That that I I don't even know what to say. That was I am so disappointed. I I mean this literally just feels like a bad teaser for a cinematic. Where's the action? Where's the where's the excitement? Where's the where's the characters interacting with each other? Where's where's I mean, how is this supposed to get you excited for the season? This literally... It's... They just showed Summoner's Rift and nothing's happening on it. it okay, I... um, well, I'm a little confused. Maybe let me know down in the comments. Is this a teaser? Am I completely off the mark here? Where's the cinematic? Do we not... We just don't get a cinematic this year, do we? So featuring Mia Sinclair, Janess, and 2Y... For what? There was. The are these musical artists? There was. The, behind. And still, there was no song. Usually, every year, cinematic has like this big, bombastic, amazing song. I, 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 bro, what? No, no, no. Okay, like compare these to like cinematics of the past. The call. Oh my God. Awaken. What? Warriors. Three years later, people are still singing this song. Actually, Warriors are from, from years and years ago. Uh, uh, Ignite! That was Worlds, though. Dude, okay. This is the most pathetic excuse for a cinematic I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to gather my thoughts. Um, there are some There are some cool visuals, I guess. Like, like for the first half of the cinematic, I, I thought that it was building up to something and I was really excited because I, that's what the cinematics always do. Like the fire looks cool, but like, why, I don't understand any decision behind this. Why would they upload this? Why would they use this as a way to get people excited for the season? It's literally like a dead looking summoner's rift. Like it looks like all of the champions, like that's, I think that's Zed's, Zed's shuriken or something. But where's Zed? Where's the champions? It's like they've all left. If anything, this cinematic is just a metaphor for Riot abandoning the game, isn't it? Is that what they're trying to tell us? Because 
for years, we have players have been frustrated and, we, and we've dealt with it. We've dealt with the fact that they have mishandled the marketing and, and, and the budget and, and the game balance of this game. We come to terms with the fact that the events are going away and that they're pretty much just, you know, lightly veiled excuses to sell skins. They don't care about events anymore. We've, we've come to fact, terms with the fact that there's never going to be a new game mode. We've come to terms with the fact that Nexus Blitz, they couldn't even figure out how to bring that back even though they promised it. But this is just depressing. This is this is more than a slap in the face. This is, this is Riot like pissing in our face. This is just them taking a laugh at, at our expense. I, I, I am so, this is disgusting. It is what this is. It, and maybe, again, it, it says this is the cinematic. And if I am completely wrong and they actually are hiding a cinematic somewhere and they're going to release it tomorrow or the next day. By the way, who knows when the season starts? Because they said it was yesterday. They said it was today. They, now they're saying it's tomorrow. They haven't said anything in the client. You have to follow a bunch of Riot interns on Twitter to even figure out when the freaking season starts. Um, this is this is a mess. Also, was this released at four in the morning why was this why was this season set yeah no i i would actually upload this at four in the morning too if this was if this was my project if this is all they had to show after a year i would also upload this at four in the morning um this is embarrassing the, the cinematic perfectly depicts the state of the game uneventful and below expectations <laughs> I never thought I would dislike a cinematic from League. I love when the cinematic fully showed Shaco's lore. It's really inspiring because there's nothing there. Um, yeah, no, I, I I can't even believe this. I uh, This is not the type of video I thought that I was about to make. I thought I was going to make a really exciting review of the cinematic. I, th I thought that we were going <sighs> to... This is so depressing, man. And you guys have to understand. I know this has been like a really, really um, all over the place video. But you have to understand that when people complain about this stuff, when people, you know, play this game every single day, when people dedicate their lives and their entire careers to this game and they sit here and they complain about it, they complain about it, it comes from a place of passion. It comes from knowing how great this game can be and, and the absolute disgust and, and, and frustration with the fact that Riot is letting it become something so much worse because all their money's going to an MMO, all their money's going to Valorant, all their money's going to these other projects. We don't even get a cinematic. We don't, we don't get, we don't get events anymore. We we're, we're like the, uh, we're like the, it's like Riot forgot about their first child. Riot forgot about the, the game that made them Riot Games. Remember when Riot Games was just Riot Game? Can we go back to that please? Like, and it's so weird because I remember being so excited for, for Riot to expand into an FPS and a trading card game and a mobile game and an MMO and indie games. But I didn't know it would come at the this cost. I didn't know it would, I didn't know this is what it would lead to. Uh, um Yeah. And it sucks. You know what really sucks is that I know a lot of rioters personally. And they are such wonderful, passionate, talented creative people and i know that this isn't their fault i know that what league of legends has become and is becoming is not their fault uh but it, 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 who do i blame them who do i blame i know it's i know it's the higher ups you know what i mean like it's not the individual's problem every rioter i've ever spoken with every single one has been super super dice um but it, what is this guys guys so someone has to get someone has to snap out of it over there someone has to get a freaking grip you have the most popular, successful, amazing esport in the world, and you are killing it. You are killing it by putting in the absolute bare freaking effort. This is disgraceful, is what this is. Like, again, there's some positive. It looks kind of cool. But a year for this? A year for this. Two years ago, this would have never flown. Two years ago, this wouldn't have even... This would They would have made something ten times cooler than this to tease the cinematic. And now this is what we get. Not not a single glimpse of a champion. Just a couple of like old nostalgia lines like Freak yelling, Faker, what is that? Or whoever that was, sorry. Uh, but uh, this is not it, bro. And like, yeah. Dude, these, this is scraps. They are giving us absolute scraps. They are giving League of Legends absolute scraps. And, and, and the sad thing is that like, I really think that... A lot of people look at League of Legends as a game that they could play for the rest of their lives, but it appears that Riot 
doesn't look at League of Legends the same way. So uh, there it is, guys. There's my season 2023 cinematic review. A absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. One out of 10. Take it easy. Peace out.